Hello everyone, um, my name's Red and for people new to my page, welcome. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video um, on the situation we got going on around the world about the um, coronavirus and I just wanted to try to tell everyone to remain calm in this situation because running around panicking, um, bulk buying like toilet roll for instance, hand sanitizer uh, hand sanitizers is not going to help the situation you're just going to make the situation worse I just wanted to give everyone some tips on how to remain calm in this situation because everyone around me seems to be all chaotic and panicking and stuff and I just seem to be in my own little bubble just taking it as it comes um, so I'm just going to um, read out to you a few things to try to do um, well, the world's just going crazy around you and you're trying to remain calm and at peace um, because um, what's it called? you can't control outside circumstances but you can control your inner peace so in this time I think it's um, a good time for everyone to kind of go within and use your inner resources okay number one on my list is take care of this um, take care of yourself yeah make sure you're drinking enough water um, <clears throat> Make sure you're getting enough sleep. Make sure you're keeping yourself active as much as you can. If you've got like painting or decorating to do around the house, crack on with that. If you're interested in stuff, research it. Get into reading. Um, you know, whatever to keep the mind active because it's like a challenge of the mind right about now. So make sure you're looking after yourself. That's priority right now. Yeah, and make sure you're eating well. Got my smoothie here. Oh yeah guys, I just wanted to mention, um, use this time productively, yeah, just don't be sitting there panicking and worrying, because um, a lot of people are getting laid off work, people got to work from home, there's no schools open, um, so use the time, be proactive, like if you're interested in stuff like <coughs> tarot cards, oracle cards, crystal healing, get into that man, it's a time where you can focus on doing stuff that you actually like or interested in and I'll, give, I'll show you like, some stuff that I'm going to be dipping in and out of the next few weeks yeah so like I was saying guys if you're into crystal healing look up some crystal healing books get yourself informed about them I work with crystals anyway but there's always more information to find out I'm going to be um, trying to learn the tarot cards I'm going to work on my um, oracle card readings because people be get asking me for a lot of readings right now and it's going to be jumping in and out some books man this is a really good one it's the source so yeah okay guys number two i would say work on your meditation <clears throat> or breathing techniques right about now because if you're running around anxious and stressed out if you practice your breathing techniques it should kind of calm you down in this chaotic time like if you're going shopping trying to fight over toilet roll like if you just take some deep breaths you start coming back to yourself and start not getting involved in the chaos outside because like I said before you're in control of your own inner peace um, so yeah definitely check out um, some meditations on YouTube some breathing techniques, some Tai Chi, yoga, um, even some Reiki, man. Check that out as well if you want to start trying to learn that. Um, but all them kind of stuff there, they'll kind of keep you level-headed during this chaotic time. Um, and number three, like I said before, try not to stress. It's, I know it's hard, <clears throat> but if you're stressing and panicking about the whole situation it's going to lower your immune system and it's going to make you more open to getting the virus or disease or it might even be a common cold or whatever you get but if you're stressing it's going to lower your immune system you're going to be more open and prone to getting whatever's going around outside anyway so try to divert your attention and try to stay calm like i said before okay number four um try to help others if you're not sick and you ain't got the virus or whatever Take the normal precautions, wash your hands with soap and hand sanitizers and try not to touch your face, your eyes, nose and mouth. Um, but yeah, try to help others because helping others diverts their attention from yourself. So when you're doing a good deed for someone else, 
you're actually helping yourself as well so yeah try to help others where you can if people can't get shopping in for instance help out an old lady on the street if you're not contagious or whatever um yeah and do little little bits and pieces to try to help out um like the community or like yeah all right guys number five okay <clears throat> so the world's going through a big change at the moment so that means we're going to be going through big changes too um i don't know if the virus is linked to 5g or whatever but if it is then that means that um that the frequency of the world will be changing so that means our body's frequency will be changing and trying to readjust to the whole situation as well um so if you're feeling tired make sure you're getting enough rest um make sure like i said before you've got to take care of yourself right about now um also remember to check up on friends and loved ones because um, a lot of people are going to be isolated right now some people's anxiety is going to be through the roof so try to do your little part for the community and reach out to people because some people are antisocial and their pride won't let them reach out and stuff so make sure you reach out and holler at your friends whether it's on social media or whatever um, oh yeah guys I'll give you a little tip as well because we're going through a big transition at the moment get yourself some one second get yourself some clear quartz crystal they'll help the transition go f um, go a lot more smoother and if the virus is linked to 5g you definitely want to get yourself some sugar night as well because that neutralizes um, a whole bunch of stuff you need to do your research I've done man um, and it all is also good for radiation because we're getting a lot of radiation right now through via Wi-Fi 4G 5G um, they're putting up the towers for the 5G if you haven't noticed and all that but um, yeah um, so yeah guys um, I would recommend getting some clear quartz crystal or some sugar nut because they'll help balance out our own energy field while we're getting bombarded with other energies at the moment other frequencies and our body's trying to level it out so yeah they make the transition go a lot more smoother instead of it being rough or peaking and then dropping so yeah all right guys number six now um this is this is a funny one all right so anyway because people are going to be we're meant to be doing this social distancing kind of thing a lot of people are going to be having to sit with their souls right now i know it can be really uncomfortable sitting with yourself you get all these emotions and feelings that start coming up to the surface and blah 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 but it's just best to sit through them process them observe them and then you can move on from that because um a lot of people don't like to their own company and once you make friends with your own company in this situation right now you're going to be flying man you ain't going to be panicking because you, you don't mind being isolated because you know how to keep yourself entertained okay just a little joke for you guys introverts gamers and weed smokers are going to be loving this time right about now because they ain't got to go out and socialize with the rest of the world the only time they got to go out is for supplies um I'm, I can jump between the both of being an introvert and extrovert and right now I'm introvert so I'm okay with being inside but if I was extrovert right now I'll be going mad because when I'm extrovert I, don't, I can't keep still and stuff but I think it's come at the right time anyway so that's a blessing okay last but not least seven stop watching the news because the news is yes it's a big situation that's going on but if you're going to keep watching the news it's going to keep bringing and triggering your anxiety and it's not going to make situations any better so definitely stop the news you can watch it i don't know keep updated with the news but you don't need to watch it religiously every time boris or donald gets on the tv oh this is going down because that's not what's really going down but they're keeping you informed of some stuff that's going down but yeah anyway turn that shit off because that's just going to trigger your anxiety even more anyway but yeah guys there are a few techniques on how to try and make, remain calm during this stressful situation um but yeah guys if you've got any questions and answers hit me up in the comments below um don't forget to like share and subscribe man um but yeah try to keep calm and you know go out when it's necessary um 
and this too shall pass as my mum keeps saying while she's panicking and that but it's okay like it, it will pass we live through the black plague um sars ebola and all that so it's just another one of them riding it out kind of things just got to ride the wave until it all settles down and um yeah the phoenix shall rise from the ashes once again so yeah stay tuned guys thanks for watching